Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today it's going to be one of my quickie impromptu videos which are often an unboxing of a vintage fragrance and today it's going to be no exception hopefully if what I think is in this box is in there. So this is another order from eBay that I made last week and I was really excited to, to get hold of it. I've had to kind of hold off from opening it and wait till I actually did the video. So before we get into that don't forget if you'd like to see an extra video from me every week you can do that over in the uh, Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon. It's just two dollars a month to join uh, and you get an extra video every week plus more sometimes an extra bonus this one on top of one full length video uh, so head on over there I'd love to see you in there if you are interested let's get into the unboxing oh cat in the back as usual the cat has decided to uh, photobomb the video right let's get stuck into it then so here's the parcel and this one is a late 80s classic and really a forgotten gem by the sounds of what I'm seeing on Fragrantica reviews from the late 80s. I'd never actually heard of the fragrance until I saw it on eBay and just then Googled it and found that it was really, really highly thought of. So let's get stuck in. I did make a uh, preliminary incision just to make this a bit less of a mess, my unboxing. So let's see if we can get stuck in and see what's in here. We might need a bit of uh, scissors there. Hang on. Oops. Oh dear. Right, that's just about done it, I think. Okay, so let's get into the box and see what we have. Okay, so it seems reasonably well protected. I think it's coming in a box. It's only a 30 mil. So here is the grand reveal. Very well looked after in packaging there. Thank you to the sender on eBay, but bought from the UK. And um, we're going to see what we've got here. Right. Oh. God. Okay, I'm not complaining that it's well wrapped. I want to try and not to damage the box as I get this one out because I thought the box looked really good in the picture. So, da da da. Here it is. The fragrance in question is Francesco Smolto. It's called Francesco Small Tote for Men, Eau de Toilette for Men. It's on uh, Fragrantica, it's listed as Francesco Small Tote Pour Homme. So I'm not sure which is the correct title, but we've got to go with what's on the box here. Lovely packaging. I really like that kind of blue marbled effect on the box. So I will spend a moment letting you all see that. I like that. That's a really good box. Vaporizateur Eau de Toilette. Does have a barcode, so that gives us a date probably somewhere in the uh, 90s when they started using those they seem to have included something else which i'm going to do off camera so they've given me a sample here i've no idea why and uh, this is brutal intense no brutal classic intense edp so i've no idea who sent this it's just a and it's not a fragcom person that i know of uh, so why they sent that, I don't know, but I'm very grateful. Let's get into the actual fragrance in question and unbox her then. So this one released in 1987 first. They've also given me a bit of wrapping inside, which is a nice touch to protect it. And the bottle also really rather lovely. So 30 mil size, I like that old school design. Francesco Smolto Paris, it's a Parisian fragrance or fashion company. I'm not sure what else they do. I have never smelt it before in my life and until very recently I had not heard of it. The notes on this one then are, in the top we have bergamot, tarragon, lavender, anise, neroli, rosemary, in the mid carnation, geranium, patchouli, fern, cyclamen, cedar, and in the base it's tonka bean, oak moss, musk, and leather. The only comparison anyone's drawn on Fragrantica is one person's compared it to Azaro Porom, a classic barbershop scent from 1978. So let's see what I think about this one. So, a couple of sprays. It's meant to be a powerhouse, of course, of the 80s. Two sprays. Mm. Very classically 80s masculine fragrance type of smell, for sure. It's soapy, it's fougere-like, it's masculine. You're getting some lavender and oak moss. 
it's quite rich and complex. It's not really animalic or anything like that so far, so it's not really, it's not reminding me so much of Koros or even Antaeus, but more of your barbershop kind of fragrances. So yeah, a little bit of Azaro Poron, maybe. Lots of kind of green aromatics in there, a lot of those. And of course, listed in the notes, we've got things like rosemary, we've got uh, tarragon in there. So there's these kind of herbal tones. There's florals with the carnation and geranium. I'm not picking up specifically on all these things. Certainly, a certain fern-like or even piney smell is in there. And some people are saying it's more of an oriental fougere with sweetness in the base or amber, I think one reviewer said on uh, Fragrantica. But I'm mainly picking up a very traditional fougere scent and very nice on the opening. Time only will tell whether it's one of the real great ones of all time, but really happy to have that in the collection. It was a reasonably low price for a 30 ml bottle around about 25 pounds or something like that on eBay. Let me know if you've ever tried this one. And don't forget that coming soon is gonna be the Mr. Smelly Fragrance. We are very close to launching the uh, Kickstarter campaign. We're just getting it verified in the next two or three working days. And then here's our bottle design. And we have the juice for the fragrance too, but we only have a very small quantity. Even in here, this is just mock-up juice. In order to actually produce it, we need your help on Kickstarter. So I'll be telling you how to do that very soon. A great aromatic fougere fragrance. Find out what happens with that. So yeah, more news coming on that very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you've tried Francesco Smolto for men in the comments below. Whatever you're doing in life, let's project. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.